Hey everyone, and welcome back. A lot of you might have some of these in your collection because they come with a whole bunch of sensor kits. This is a tilt sensor, and as you can see, the uh, little ball in here is rolling back and forth, and it lets you know when something has tilted or not. But this is actually not a little ball. Some of you already know this, but some of you don't. Let me show you what this really is. Obviously going to try my best to keep this in focus at this magnification, but this here is actually a little drop of mercury. See that? Well, This is actually the same sort of switch. Um, this is uh, like a glass piece here that has been blown and then it gets heated and, uh, and uh, the mercury trapped inside. And then there's the two conductors. So one you can't see because of the reflection up here and one a little short one there. This is the same kind of switch they used on old vehicles to uh, control the lights under the hood. So when you open the hood, the uh, tilt switch would go into this position and turn on the lights so you can see what's going on under the hood. A lot of modern cars don't have that anymore, um, but these things are subject to um, environmental concern. You see mercury in its regular state, like you see here, is relatively safe in a well-ventilated room. It does off-gas a little bit, and that gas is extremely toxic. However, if uh, you just discard these, if you just throw these away, uh, this mercury could easily break out of this glass, you know, especially with other trash being thrown on top. And then uh, with rain, it can seep into um, drinking water. And if this seeps into drinking water, it can easily contaminate it. So just a word of warning, if you've got some of these, you cannot throw them away. These are a hazardous substance in most countries at least. Also I find it interesting that this module is wired very strangely. Let me uh, make you up a diagram and then we'll make this thing work. And here is the pinout. So here's that switch. There's that mercury switch, so the, the conductive mercury making contact between uh, S and G. Then you have this positive pin here which is a pull-up at least I think it's a pull-up, but you could theoretically use it as a pull-down if you wanted. It's basically linking this 10K resistor on one leg of the switch over to, you know, whatever you want out on here. So you got uh, sort of like your switch, your ground, your pull-up, and then there's this device, which is completely separate from the rest. Now, it is a diode. It is indeed a diode. However, uh, I drew it with arrows going in both directions because I'm not sure if this is an LED or if it's a light detecting diode. It does say LD1 on here, um, but I was only able to generate uh, just under a hundred millivolts with a really powerful flashlight flashing directly into it. It has a forward voltage of something around 0.2 volts, which is uh, too low to be an LED. So I'm pretty sure it's a light detecting um, diode, but I, I think it might be damaged. I'm not 100% sure on the light detecting part. And I'm also not sure why you would really want it paired with um, this device here, or if they just had, you know, one board and they put them both on uh, just to check. But anyways, um, definitely you will uh, get that between L and G. So if you wanted to use this board for something, this is how you would use it. However, uh, I caution you that because this diode is generating such little voltage if it's detecting light, um, the, it will probably be interrupted You know, when you uh, close this switch here. Whatever is going on here, unless this is a uh, high impedance uh, input to a micro, um, whatever you put on here will affect this and also um, 
if you have a pull up here and this uh, closes depending on what you have on your ground here if this goes directly to ground it might not be a problem but otherwise it'll pull up you know everything on here so yeah you got just got to be careful how you implement this but otherwise if you just go between S and G then you have uh, your switch if you go simply between the positive and G then you have your switch with the 10k uh, series resistor if you go L and G that should be your light detecting diode I, I figure that's what it is because that's really small um, forward voltage and um, yeah you could theoretically use both at once so yeah just a short little uh, video here making sure that you guys know that this thing is actually filled with mercury thanks for watching